In the early 70s, I got in touch with Steve Reich the first time and asked him if I could do a piece of his on a Boston Symphony special concert. At this point, Michael was the assistant conductor for the Boston Symphony Orchestra. And he was doing a few concerts on his own there. So he said, um, I'd like to do a piece of yours with the Boston Symphony. He said, would you suggest something? I said, sure. I got a piece of four electric organs in maracas. In Boston, it kind of went over. People were a little bit perplexed, but it went over. Then we took it to Carnegie Hall. Posters went up, you know, list, Reich. There was this audience expecting this elegant, gorgeously upholstered traditional music. And instead, they got this piece for amplified kind of rock organs. This time, we got about two, three minutes into it. And I think people in the audience began to realize these chord, this chord is not going to change. <laughs> they didn't like it. There began to be uh, loud coughs and kind of uh, cat calls and boos and people getting up and shaking their fists. When it gets loud, now you, you know, you're, you're aware, you're not looking at them because you're looking at the music, but you began to realize there's something going on out there. And it got louder and louder. Even though the instruments we were playing were amplified, we could scarcely hear ourselves playing and I had to, in a very loud voice, count out the numbers of the beats. Michael started mouthing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> and we were all watching him. Somehow we kept going. At the end of the piece, there was a moment of silence, and then there was just an avalanche of noise. And there was this avalanche of boo, bravo, boo. We went off the stage, and Steve was as white as a sheet. I just looked completely deer in the headlights. He looks at me, I'm white as a sheet. You know, he, says, he says, just brighten up. He says, this is history. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever you say. I said, Steve, this is the greatest thing that's happened. Nothing like this has happened since the premiere of The Rite of Spring. For sure, by tomorrow, everyone in the world is going to know about you and your music. And that's just what happened. The reviewer in those days for The New York Times was uh, Hal Schoenberg. And he said something to the effect of, uh, like, uh, it was as if they had stuck red-hot needles under the audience's fingernails, but at least it was lively. <laughs>